Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Uh, so today we got another video on the new truck and it was Christmas yesterday. So I got a bed cover and floor mats for the truck and I got the Husky floor mats. Um, they seem pretty nice, they seem pretty beefy. Um, I'm using the two out of the B right now just so I don't get the carpet all messed up. And then the, and the bed cover I got, I've got the, the Gator trifold uh bed cover so I guess, I guess we'll just start by slapping on the bed cover for now and we'll go from there we got the brushings there um got some rubber stuff 3m tape there's the new unit so i guess we just gotta get all this racking off and we'll start slapping it on I think it'll be a pretty easy installation as what it looks like. So what it looks like here is we got these two little slots right here. Uh, so we got these two little rigs. So, uh -oh, focus. So we got these two little rigs. I'm guessing that they slide each side and they will get popped in, whatever, and then tightened on down. So, geez, the lighting's bad. And this will be the front of the cab. Because then it gets clamped right there. And it'll get clamped in the little slots right there. So, that's a. good already so then I'm guessing I mean I'll just fold it out real quick make sure it's all even and then uh, I'll start clamping everything down so now that we got that on I'm gonna fold it on out and make sure it's all even on the, all the corners and make sure it's looking straight and then I'll fold it back up and start uh, clamping it all down so let's get her done all there really is up here is two little clips on both sides of straps. You just unclip them and then it'll fold back. Sheesh. Alright, so I got it all folded out. I'm actually pretty stoked on how it looks. Um, I know I've seen others with it on, but I haven't had one on my truck for a while, and it looks so much better already. Um, so I got it all squared up pretty much. I pretty much just met it to these corners, and so now I just need to start clamping everything down and go from there. So I guess I'll just I'll just fold it up and then I'll mess with the two clamps in the front. Alright, so I get the cover on, all fold it back up. I start it to clamp it on, and you have to cut away the plastic. As you can see here, uh, I'll show you under there in a minute, but as you can see here, I'm guessing the previous owner um, had a cover on and cut it out too, but where his is cut out and where mine's going to cut out is different. I don't know if because he had his positioned differently how I want mine positioned. But that's what you have to do. So I'll show you what's going on down here. So there you go. That's where I cut mine out. Right there. Um, so you want to cut the plastic so you're right on the metal so you have the max support. I tried just to tighten it on and it was just bending the plastic. So I, or I guess I do have to cut it out. So I started doing that, and then you just pull these over, and then just crank them down till you're looking like that. I'm guessing this, this is how you do it. Um, I could be doing it wrong, but who knows, this is how I'm doing it, so yes sir. Now that we got both the sides tightened down, I guess we'll go ahead and flip it back, and hopefully, Still all lined up. It looks pretty decent. Take gander. 
Yeah, I try to take it all the way out to the sides here. Um, I didn't, because if I went all the way back, it would stick out past the edge here. So I tried to make it like flush. Um, same with this side. Made it flush. And when you look down the side, it looks pretty even. And same up with the front. The front's pretty nice. Um, so now what we got to do is fold this up. Well, oh shit, I guess we kind of need that. Well, anyways, we have to cut this side out, both these sides, so we can clamp the ends down. So, we'll do that right now. Alright, so we got the bed cover all done. Uh, the last little bit, I'll show you real quick. Right here. So, all it is is a spring. Man, this lighting's terrible. I'm sorry, guys. Um, yeah, I don't know. This lighting seems terrible. But all it is, you just pull down. And you put it up. I did cut the slit right there, so all you gotta do is slide it over, pull it down, and make sure it's locked, just like that. And then she's all ready to go. So that's pretty much how that is. So we'll uh, see how she looks. She's looking great. Let me turn off my flash real quick. Whew Look at that. So much better already. This thing looks amazing. Um, yeah. So that's that. I do want to get. Uh, well, I think I have some. It's called Back to Black because this plastic is faded. So Back to Black will make this all shiny again and not all dull and faded away like it kind of looks. So it'll match a nice new cover and blend in a lot better. So I might do that or just get a torch and just melt it like everyone else does. But that's that's pretty much how it's working. I mean, I guess I'll do a quick thing on how to fold the back up. So pull out the tailgate. Ooh, I should get some shocks for this. But um, then you go in here, grab these little two tabs, put them down, slide them, slide them, and then you just pop them here. Hold them up. Here's those things I was talking about. They're just spring loaded. You just pull on this and then you latch them. But fold them up, fold them up. And then you clip them in like that. And then that's easy. It's that easy. So, I mean, yeah, it sucks because you can't roll it all the way back. But you have some room to put some stuff in. But if you really wanted to get the whole bed, I mean, you could unscrew the two and then take it fully off which really isn't that hard i probably did this in like just say a half hour so not that bad all right so now well, i guess we'll put on or put in the new husky format so we'll get them on out here i took out these before earlier they seem pretty dang nice. Sheesh. Look at that. I believe that is the driver's side or no, passenger side, sorry. I don't know why this lighting is like really bad in here. There we go. Look at the lighting now. But yeah, dude, these things are nice. So, take out the rest and see what these look like. There we are. There's the driver's side. Look pretty and good. Now we got the rear. There's the rear. It's still yeah, dude, these things are nice. So, so I guess I'll just start out with the back seat. I'm gonna take out the old carpet and clean up a little bit before I slap these in, and we'll go from there. Geesh, I tell you what, dude, these floor mats are pretty dang nice. They fit in there really nicely, and literally. You can probably tuck them in if you want, but I have these coolers under here 
that I can store drinks in. I mean, I guess that will kind of suck in a way. Um, yeah, it'll kind of suck every time you have to go. You have this big thing in the way you can't really open up, but I mean, you can get your hand in there. I might keep out that carpet. I might put it back in. I'm not 100% sure yet. I might put it back in so when I go for drinks, I don't get absolutely stabbed by the plastic ones. I was just stabbed by these rubber ones, which don't hurt, and those do. But they do fit absolutely amazing in here. I mean, they do. They are a little like weird because they're folded in the box. But other than that, I think they're good. So now we'll go in here. Uh, that's a muddy mess. These are the B um, B four mats. I take those out. They're all crusty because there's snow in here. And then I did take notice that I can just take these out if I know how to freaking take these out here. There we go. Just take these out. And then these little holes right here, or these little nipples, you can slide them up right in these. So underneath, you can put them up in. So that's actually really nice. So I'm probably just going to keep those out and put these in. And I'll put those up in the attic or something. But we'll, uh, we're going to clean that carpet up real quick and then we'll slide these in. I don't know about you guys, but... These are some of the nicest floor mats I've ever had or seen, but they are amazingly good fit. All I had to do for these is just push down, you hear it click in, and they don't come up. I don't have this one in there, right? Anyways, they fit nice. Absolutely amazing. Um, same with the other side. The other side fits in there real nice. Back's real nice. Um, so yeah, I don't know what else to say, but they, I, I'm liking them so far, they're actually really nice. So the other floor mats, uh, the carpet ones, I'm probably just going to put them in a box, I'm not using them, so I'll just put those away and put them up in an attic, and I'll probably just keep them just like that, because they cover up like everything. Um, all the other floor mats I had, they didn't really cover up the whole floor like these do. It was only like a little section where your feet are, but these literally get like every little spot. I'm loving it. Pretty stoked on these. Um, this is the final look with the cover on the truck now. It looks absolutely amazing. Uh, I think it just looks so much better with the cover on. I guess that's the end of the video. I hope you guys liked and uh, subscribe. And come back for more videos of this and the B. Hopefully with the B we can start doing the motor and building it again. So, or not again, building it. Um, if you guys want to see anything else, comment down below. Let me know what you guys want to see. What you guys think I should do next to this truck. Um, I might do like an exhaust and wheels eventually. But, I don't know. I'm kind of focused on the B right now. But, other than that, I guess that's the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching, and see you guys later. Peace.